So welcome to this tutorial on two common ways to uh, create PDF tables uh, using Python. So as we get started, I'm just going to show you Google Colab, which is the uh, way I'm going to be uh, demonstrating the code. Uh, going to just uh, go here and um, navigate to a Jupyter Notebook and Google Colab um, and uh, work from this. The, the Jupyter Notebook I use will be linked in the description below. So now I'm going to uh, prepare some uh, toy uh, data, data, uh, data frame in uh, Python that we're going to output into the uh, uh, PDF files. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to use the Iris data set, uh, which is a fairly commonly used uh, toy data set. I'm just using the uh, scikit-learn um, library uh, to get this toy data set. And so when I'm converting the um, data set into a um, pandas data frame, I'm using um, the uh, the numpy concatenate function um, to take um, this uh, the the iris data arrays and um, the iris target array, which is like the type of uh, flower that is oh sorry type of plant that is in the uh, data set and yeah if you want to read more about it, it's pretty easy to google um fisher's iris data set and uh, i'm sure you'll find a lot of um, useful information so i'm just out of this i'm making a summary data set uh, data frame called um iris group df um where we're going to group it by the type of um species of plant and then uh, we're going to um, make averages um, uh, for each um, each one so yeah if this is um, all new to you again I recommend following along down in the code below here I'm just creating a choice list that I'm then going to uh, differentiate the condition list um using the m in the next line i'm going to use the mp uh dot so, um the select function from numpy um to match the choice list with the condition list so uh we have a target name uh column um in the uh outputted data frame and that will, will make uh, a bit more sense um um here in a moment as i finish uh, creating this target name column um, and uh, again this is the uh, select function in uh, numpy um, and I'm gonna set it to uh, default uh, equals unknown just in case anything crops up that we weren't expecting but um, that shouldn't be the case given that this is the uh, iris data set and it's a pretty well used um, data set so yeah here's the uh, output um, and so this is the data frame that we're going to output to the tables. So first off, let's uh, output this table to uh, the FPDF library. Again, um, the code we're using here um, is a little bit more intricate than the second option. Um, so uh, I did put a link above to the um, FPDF documentation for further tutorials and examples. Um, we're mainly going to be using the uh, dot cell uh, function within PDF um, within FPDF library um, to. Uh, you know specify uh, whether we want to return to the line below and uh, 
and uh, create cell references. Um, so this is the first option and it's probably, it, well, it is the more obscure of the two libraries. We're also going to look at matplotlib, um, which is probably one of the most commonly used um, Python libraries. Um, and there's, you know, tutorials all over the place for it. In this example, I'm just going to be outputting this table and not a chart, which would probably be the more common use for uh, the matplotlib library. Uh, but anyway, carrying on here with FPDF, um, it perhaps seems a little strange that we have to do all these um, cell references, but I think this complete example will give you an idea of what you can do. Uh, and um, if you repurpose it for your own example, um, you'll be able to uh, to perhaps create a function to uh, of your choosing to automate some of this. Also going to have a, a subsequent video um, where I use the FPDF library alongside uh, matplotlib charts for a very customized um, table and graph. And also put that side by side um, with matplotlib table and a matplotlib based chart. Uh, so you can see perhaps where you can customize it a bit more with the FPDF library. Um, one key thing to note here um, in, in, in the uh, pdf.cell is uh, I'm making um, two different for loops. And in... Sorry, I'm make, actually, I'm, sorry, I'm only going to make one here. But in... In the for loop, you'll see there's um, an argument zero, um, the second to last argument um, before C, which is uh, centered text. Um, the zero means a, a, a line return um, is specified. And when it's set to two, uh, there isn't a line return specified. So um, it's, a, um, you know, it's important to... Uh, remember that because otherwise if you if you don't set that correctly you end up with a table that's um all kind of all over the place so um yeah that's definitely uh, an important thing to note um and yeah again this is a pretty inv you know involved example i'm using the in and built in enumerate function in python here um which i've you know, which most people find very useful. Um, so, in that, in the uh, enumerate function, I have colnum and colname, where colnum is just a uh, number that goes alongside um, it's zero indexed, and it goes alongside the reference for colname. So they work um, very conveniently in this example. Um, so yeah, again, another key thing to notice is the, uh, that you have the, um, second to last argument and the, um, uh, the cell function is zero or, or two are, are the main ones you're going to use, um, zero being a, uh, you know, um, a line return. Or not a carriage return, but um, but you return to the next uh, line, and uh, two well, you 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 won't. So yeah, again, it can perhaps be a little bit scary, but I'm sure you can see how you can repurpose this for your own examples. And now we'll we're just about ready to. Go ahead and look at, if I put these in parentheses, um, look at the output. And so, yeah, I um, can go here and download and now view it. And, oh, and there's a problem there. <laughs> um, I think it might have something to do with the uh, 
line returns. And yeah, there it is. So that one should have been zero. I think we're good to go now. Our output should look better if I run this again. Refresh. Download once more. And there we have it. That's the output we want. And now let's go ahead and look at producing the thing much simpler. So here we are now looking in the matplotlib library. Um, again, very common library. Uh, and this is going to be a much uh, simpler example. <laughs> um, So yeah, again, the great thing about Google Colab is, and the and Jupyter Notebook or Ana, you know, or if you're using Anaconda, you can look at the uh, functions and methods of a library while you're in there, and it gives you all the little pointers on uh, whether you're using bad syntax. So uh, I definitely um, take advantage of that. So as if, for instance, um, right now set visible, it tells me I have to make a Boolean selection. So uh, um, I can put zero or false, and I'm going to put zero. So th this is me not setting a graph. So um, by default, it's going to set a graph, and I'm just not going to make it visible because I just want to produce a table. Um, Again, I get into a subsequent tutorial that I'll link below once I've completed it in the description below uh, where I'll um, use matplotlib to create a graph and put it in a PDF. And here I'm just showing you the uh, baseline example um, where I'm just putting a table uh, into a PDF output. Um, also, in subsequent ex uh, examples, I'll do things like put titles in there and perhaps do a bit more custom formatting. So yeah, this is it for all you need to do to create and output a table for using the matplotlib library. But it's good to know the FPDF library, although the, the example before was a lot more extensive. Um, it can be useful for customization that you may not be able to do with matplotlib um, so yeah much more simple and hopefully there's no errors in the traceback um, so go ahead and run this so yeah it looks like we're good um, let's take a look at the uh, uh, outputted dot uh, pdf file so yeah, very similar uh, to the FPDF uh, output, but much easier to do. So yeah, that f thanks very much for watching. That's about it for uh, this video. Um, yeah, feel free to like and uh, catch the full code below in the description. Thanks very much.